Right guys, hope you're well. This is the uh, third part of, of the series about how to get you guys to progress more, progress better throughout this program process. Um, training online is obviously a very difficult situation, but then with the things that we can manage, the things that we can obviously measure. One thing that you'll see is a check-in that you have that will describe digestion. Now, digestion is one of the number one factors in progression. Um, 75% of your immune system actually comes from your gut and your gut flora. Your gut is not necessarily just your stomach, it all talks about your small intestine as well as your, uh, your large intestine. Actually, how are you processing food? So you aren't what you eat, you are what you eat and you absorb. That absorption is a number, is a number one key factor in actually assimilating food, actually produce, how you're gonna produce energy, how efficient your metabolism is, how you're gonna reduce inflammation, bloating, distension, all the sort of negative effects of what eating food can produce is because our, what we're looking at are the our enzymes in your stomach, are they actually utilizing and digesting and breaking down food properly, molecularly, into a position to be absorbed. So an example is a lock and a key, uh, your, Stomach, the enzymes in your stomach are keys. The stuff that you're eating is a lock. When you eat those sort of locks, your carbs, proteins, and your fats, when it goes into your stomach, do, are your enzymes able to open those locks so they're allowed to open to then be absorbed in your small intestine and then afterwards your large intestine? If you're getting bloating, you're farting, you're belching, um, you, feel, you feel overly full when you're eating a small amount of food, if you go into the bathroom and you've got green apple splatters and you're going to and you're violating yourself when you're sat in the toilet, those are things that we can relate to digestion. Now that kind of stuff there is a huge warning sign that you're not digesting food well. That's what you need to communicate to me. Now the thing about this process is we've got to get into personal. I talk to everybody about their shit. It's weird, I know, but you'll soon get used to it. If you do start getting sort of digestive issues, you need to actually um, mention to me as soon as possible because obviously if we were seeing each other face to face you would be able to uh, tell me on a day after day basis where at the moment when I check in on a Wednesday and I check in on a weekend if I don't see that, that that's in your check-in I will assume that your digestion is fine so you need to say that. Secondly what we're looking at um, is when we're actually eating, are we getting any negative effects? So like I said, if you're getting bloating, if you start, if as soon as you eat something and you start belching and farting or have to run to the bathroom, again, those are sort of factors that we need to comprehend and actually talk about because that could be actually linked to your stress levels. If we talk about metrics as well, so we're talking about your resting heart rate, your HRV and your blood pressure. If your HRV is up and your, your elevated blood pressure, that's a stress response. If you have a stress response, 50% of the time, this is more bro science that I find is that people who actually don't have the ability to break down food properly, they're causing so much inflammation, it's causing a stress response because they're already trying to get rid of inflammation. Um, the ways that we can combat those sort of negative effects and things to, to worry about with digestion, number one thing is fiber. Um, Fiber is what obviously what binds everything together, but also that drags through anything, any pathogens or anything negative in our body. If we are not having enough fiber, so not enough fruit and veg, um, and sort of starchy carbohydrates and that kind of thing, we're then actually struggling to actually formulate stools, which again, it's out, again, we're talking very, very deep, but it's really, really important that you understand this. Secondly, what we're looking at uh, is are you getting negative effects from food? So are you, like we discussed a second ago, are you getting those signs and symptoms? Because if you are, we're gonna take you off whatever it is causing that problem, reassess it, and then reintegrate it later on. That's for me and you to discuss. Uh, and lastly, like I talked to you about before, is when we're uh, doing a weekly check-in, I hopefully, fingers crossed, your digestion shouldn't change too much. Um, if you are having sudden bouts of digestion issues, these need to be communicated via WhatsApp as soon as possible. If it's just a little bit different, then leave that for your check-in. Um, one of the last thing that could actually affect your digestion is obviously hydration levels. Hydration is really, really important. You should be having one liter per 25 kilos of body mass minimum. If you're training, you have to add a liter onto that. So I'm nearly 100 kilos. I'm gonna be having four liters of water before I train, is within that day. If I train, I'm aiming to hit five. What you need is buy yourself a nice water bottle. I've got a thermos flask, it's a liter. I have to chop four of them per day minimum. Coffee and tea does include, does, does, uh, is included. But don't think that you can use coffee as a liter measure because that will probably send you wild. Um, 
in our next video, we'll, we'll move on to the next step. If you have any questions about digestion or your actual current diet, like I said, in the Parkview form, it's written in there, but also just find me a message.